Hello everybody, welcome back. So today is Sunday and I'm gonna do a vlog. I haven't filmed in a long while because I've just not had the time and the motivation to film or edit videos. I did film a January favourites at the start of February, end of January and I just haven't finished editing it. So that will be the next video going up but I'm just praying that I manage to post it before it gets into March because that's a bit silly. But today I've got a few things that I want to do in terms of um, housework and also I want to dye my hair, I want to hoover, do some washing. I've already done the washing up. My camera lens is kind of steaming up a little bit actually, I'm not sure why. There was a concerning amount of washing up that was done this morning. Um, I even had to put things on the side, I know it doesn't look great. I'm just making a cup of tea in my new mug. I literally bought this yesterday from Morrison's. I just fancied a new mug. I'm the kind of person that really looks forward to like having a drink if it's in like a mug that I like. And it's just like the little things. So this video is actually in collaboration with an Amazon seller. I will leave the seller's um, name on the screen and like the brand name as well. I'm not great at pronouncing things so it's just easiest if I do that. They have very kindly sent me one of their products to show you and to review. Now I am a little bit slow reviewing this because this was um, sent to me a while ago, still in 2023, but I just, I've taken my time to post about this because I've been super busy. But I thought that this is kind of the perfect time to review this product because Mother's Day is coming up soon. So mum, don't watch this video. Like, if you're watching this video, quit watching it because I'm going to show a couple of the things that I've got you for Mother's Day, so do not watch this video. But basically, if you haven't got your mum anything for Mother's Day yet, then you might be stuck for ideas for things. The description of the product says it is a preserved rose Mother's Day gift for mum, and it has and it says with an 100 language I love you necklace. Um, so I guess you could um, have that in any language, I don't know. Oh, I see, it says I love you in 100 languages. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so that is the necklace. When you get the product in the box, let me just try and get this out. Ah, so this is what it looks like. So this is something that she can keep. This can be used as a little jewelry box to keep rings in or something like that. And here it says best wishes and then on the top it says mum on it. So it is very clear that this product is definitely like a mum, you know, a gift for your mother, obviously. Um, it has a little card that comes with it as well. Sorry, it's very bright today. And um, it just says best wishes on it and you can like write a little note. When you open the top up, so this is what looks good, like this is what looks like really cool about this product. When you open it up like this, this is when you see the roses on the top and I just think that looks so cool um, and just like a really nice kind of idea. I'm not gonna touch this too much because I will give this to my mom. However, this is a necklace. So this comes with a necklace. The necklace is in here, I'll show you it in a minute. But my mom actually has a phobia of jewelry and I know you might be thinking, you know, what, what does that even mean? But she, genuinely she does. She, it makes her feel sick. Like if she touches jewelry, she has to go and wash her hands. And I completely understand that because I personally have a phobia of buttons. I know we sound ridiculous, but I have made a whole video on that. So go and check that video out if you want to. I will link it in the description, but it's a genuine thing. So I can't get a jewelry. It's not one of those things where it's like, she doesn't really like jewelry. It's a genuine like phobia. So no way can I give her this with the um, necklace in because she will think like it's some kind of joke. But what I am gonna do is give her this box and put something else in here. So I won't um, tell you what I'll put in there just yet because I'm not 100% sure, but I could um, put something else in there. So that's something that you could do as well. You could easily, you know, add a few more things in here alongside the necklace, or you could um, replace it with something else. You could get a gift voucher for something and put it in here. So there's like endless opportunities for different ideas. But this is the necklace that it comes with. So I'll show you the necklace because in case you did actually want to get, you know, this whole thing. Also, this product is a really decent price. It's only £20.99 and for a present, 
like that looks this good so it's got great packaging it has the roses at the top um it can be kept and used as a little jewelry box with the drawer and you get the necklace like that is a really good price and i think it looks quite a premium product for you to get your mom but oh my god that is so cool right okay i will just show you this so first of all this is the necklace like this i will do a close-up clip off camera because this is kind of difficult the sun is shining when you look into that really closely you can see it zooms in on like i don't know this like I don't know what you'd call it but it's like a scribe um and it zooms in and you can see all the different languages that it says i love you in and yeah that is actually so cool so yeah that's such a great idea now obviously this doesn't have to be given to your mum you could give this to somebody else but with this box that says mum on it i think it is a mum mother's day present but they do do other products as well but i think this is a great idea and it is great for mother's day so i will go and show you the other couple of things i have purchased her for mother's day as well in a second sorry we seem to be steaming up i don't know why we're steaming up so bad today anyway i will leave all of the links down in the description to this specific product so that you can go and check it out yourself go and purchase it if you would like to it's such a great gift for somebody and i just think like everything about this screams like a great all-round present and it looks a lot more expensive than it is which is great and the idea of the necklace and looking through it and seeing all the writing is really cool as well so yeah i really like this product and I think it'll be nice like if you do get it for your mum that she can open it on Mother's Day and just see that it looks really cool. So yeah I will now continue with the vlog and wonder why my camera is steaming up so much hopefully it's not got a fault um, and I will show you what I purchased my mum um, also for Mother's Day. So mum if you are still watching right now how rude but please skip off thank you. Also, I've just looked at my camera and I was wondering why it was steaming up so much. Basically, it's steamed up on the lens that's inside of my camera. So I'm not sure how I can sort that out, but I will try and fix that. But it might not be um, fixed in this vlog. So I do apologise for that. But it is quite warm today, so it might be to do with the humid environment. I don't know. We shall see. So I thought I'd show you what else I got her for Mother's Day. I got this card from Tesco now this is a big card like this like, look how big this card is and it's only £1.75 like there was literally cards this small in Tesco and it was like £4 so what a bargain so I got this one and then the re by the way the reason why i actually started buying her mother's day presents now anyway because usually i wouldn't get her something this early but it's because i saw this now i saw this in tesco and i was like do i get this for myself or do i get this for mum and then i was like well if i get it for mum like what am i getting it for like am i just gonna give it to her and i was thinking when's her birthday april but then i thought mother's day is in march so i bought this for then so this is seven pounds this is from tesco it's a sew and grow crest animal pot so basically on the inside of here there is soil in like little clumps and then the seeds to grow crests and it will just be like a little cute thing where you can have this sat in your kitchen and then crest starts growing and there was other like pots there was a cow as well um that you could grow grass in and like different things like that but i just thought this was really cute and then obviously after you've grown the crest and everything you can still keep the pot and like i don't know use it you know to store your makeup brushes or something like that so yeah this is currently from tesco so if you wanted this as well you can go over to tesco and get it but this is also what i've got my mum i don't tend to like go all out with presents when it comes to like people in general um so that's probably all i'm gonna get her but like i said i am gonna probably give her something um to put in that box um that was sent to me instead of the jewelry because obviously she is not good 
with jewelry. I've also been having some issues with my rabbits. So basically, I've got two rabbits, Rodney and Ralph, and both of them have started fighting with each other recently. Sorry, Ralphie. So I've just woken him up. He was asleep. Um, they share a cage and, well, they usually share a cage and they usually get along okay. But recently they have been fighting a lot and I know it's because, like I 100% know, because one of them was being assaulted by the other one. Um, I know it's because they need neutering. So I've got them booked in on Wednesday to get neutered, but the vet said um, to keep them separate till then. So one of them is in the cage right now. There he is. This one's Ralph. This one's the one that's been like abused by the other one. Um, he does get a lot of chance to run around. As you can see, there's some mess on the floor. Um, so he's chill, but I do need to clean that cage out today actually. Rodney is in my shower. Now, I know this isn't the best, you know, scenario to have him in the shower. It's not, you know, the, be the best environment. It is considered like his bed because they do run around quite a lot, which is why I have to clean up after them a lot but you know that's just like looking after pets but obviously he is in distress like he doesn't like being out of the cage he's normally in but I had to keep them separate so I had to think of a solution and my shower is like a decent size like for what it is so I've put him in there and today he's been in there for a couple of days so he's only in total going to be in here for like a week um, which isn't so bad but not a week straight by the way don't worry like he does run around a lot but he's clearly in distress because I popped a bed in there and he's destroyed his bed fully. So he's probably going to think I'm letting him out right now, but I'm not. So ignore the poos because I do need to clean them. Um, but yes, he also has water as well. Don't worry. He has a bowl of water and he does drink out of it. But yeah, he has fully destroyed this bed. He's chewed through it and he's pulled out the stuffing because he's mad. He's really furious um, <laughs> about being in here, but they've just been nonstop fighting. So what can I do? Like, I can't keep them together because this guy just attacks the other one like continuously. So yeah, sorry Rodney, you can come out in a little bit. But as you can see, the shower's not like a really, really, really small space, but he obviously doesn't like it and um and he was mad so he ruined his bed because he's got food in there he's got water he's got his bed um but what can we do but i will let, keep you posted on what happens um if their personalities change after getting neutered or whatever because some people say that it makes the bunnies calmer once they've been neutered so that will be interesting to see what happens with that but yeah please don't judge the fact that he's in the shower there's nothing that I could do about that I'm afraid. This is the hair dye that I'm going to be using to dye my hair which I'm going to do in a minute and I went for this colour chocolate brown just because I don't know if you can see you probably can't but there is a difference between the roots of my hair and the rest of my hair. I, my hair needs a wash as well anyway because it's kind of greasy. But yeah, I can just see like the roots are, like where natural colours coming through. You can't really see it on camera. But at the minute my hair is kind of like a brownie, slightly purpley shade. Um, which I quite liked, but I don't like it when I can see a difference between the roots and the rest. So I'm going to dye this and we'll see. So this is the before. And I will show you the after once I've dyed my hair and I'm out the shower and it's blow dried and everything. Um, and we will see how it's looking. Oh, clean. Hey, no, nope, nope. Hey, stop biting that. Quit that. So it's now a little bit later on in the day. I started getting a sore throat and I don't know whether that's because of hay fever. Like, is that a thing? Like, does that happen this time of year? Like, I know that obviously hay fever will start to be a thing soon, but it's only February and I like it feels how hay fever feels. So either I'm getting ill or I've got hay fever and Ralph would like to say something. Hello? Hello? 
he's gone shy um but yeah this is my new hair color it's kind of you know not too much of a difference but it's definitely darker than it was before and yeah it was chocolatey brown color it's not as dark as it looks on camera like it does look quite dark on camera but i guess it is darker um which i'm glad about because i kind of like in the wintry months to be a little bit darker and then in the summer my hair lightens anyway from the sun which you will see in future videos i'm gonna end this video here I will post my January favourites quite soon, hopefully. But go and check out the Mother's Day present thingy. Shh, he's biting the cage. I will link, I will leave a link to the Amazon seller that sells that in the description if you want to go and check that out because it's a nice little gift to get somebody. Ralph is biting the cage because he thinks I'm going to let him out. Bearing in mind, right, this is my bedroom. And sometimes in the night, not very often, but sometimes he or when the bunnies used to kind of stay together, they would, oh, he's trying to get a piece of hay. There you go. Um, they would gnaw at the cage in the middle of the night and wake me up and, excuse me, and can you imagine how irritating that is? But yeah, most of the time they do sleep through the night, but I will keep you posted. I will keep you posted on what happens with getting them neutered on Wednesday and let you know whether it changes their personalities or anything. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to see more videos on my channel and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.